folks and welcome back we're going to the neo classics it's the last one of the trilogy we're at the red bull ring and we are driving a car we've driven before it says the 962 at the top there but it's not true i did try it it's the 787b settings entirely identical except we've changed the oil and given ourselves a little bit of a boost you can just hear the new functionality of adding tires and bits and pieces from from the start many of the race so you don't anymore have to go back to the entire audio auto shop so there it is we'll just quickly skip along to the race there's the tires that are available we're running hards and as we just skip to the race we'll just have a look at the old setup just so you know what it is we've won the last two neos the last one with a bit of a let's say fortunate ending this one is somewhat more subject to a blatant punting but here we go ballast at 200 90 on the old uh, power restrictor you can see that if you just pause it and here we go to the track we'll just dump straight in there to see where we go now remember folks drive it hard drive it how you need to drive it get past the opposition don't hold back give them a bit of a nudge give them a bit of a bump where you can just to knock them off their pace and it'll upset the race for later on all in your favor or maybe not but as I say, quite classic puntage when we get to the end, which isn't normally me. If you go back into your videos, you'll remember and recall that my last classic puntage was somewhere back on the Tokyo Expressway when we're doing one of the laps or one of the one of the tests over the full lap distance, and I punted the leader on the final bend. It was my only chance, and uh, well, shame to say we do it again. There we are, up into 13th place. We've overtaken a couple of cars there, the 205 and the Alpha 155. And in front of us, we've got a new entry to the, to the game, the Nissan Silhouette, alongside the Audi from the Pikes Peak era. Into this corner, it's beauty. Second gear, let that car run into it. Drive it hard, push it down to this corner. It's third gear entry, but we'll take it in second. As you hit the apex of power through, just short shift there just to make sure you don't lose the back end. It's tempting to, to go hard, but you'll end up in the gravel trap on the left. Coming up here, we'll be in fifth gear. No, fourth gear. We're going to break on the 50. We're just going to run it wide there to try and keep some distance between us and the silhouette. We'll try and cut it back and do him on the inside, but we hit him as he's slow through the apex, which seems to be common with the cars around here. Very slow on the apex. The silhouette is actually this week's lap attack car, so... If you've got some practice on the lap attack, you'll be practicing here anyway. You'll know to come through here in third gear in the silhouette, but today in this car, it's second. We're going to pump up the course here. We're not going to use the nitrous till a little bit later. What we've learned from running this race a few times is that you need a little squirt of nitrous just for the end to give you a chance to beat the final car. Now, as I say, I've run this a couple of times, and that just saw us leave the uh, Penzoil skyline just behind there, but... As I say, I've run this a little time, a few times, just pumping the nitrous now. And what I've found is, using the various cars, uh, CLK, LM, for example, is that needs fuel and you have to pit stop with it. If you get a race with rain, it's going to be a little bit easier because if you pit stop, this car doesn't need pits for fuel. So you're only going to dip in for, for tyres. And you're just going to change on about lap five. This one, though, we're fortunate we only get a splattering. You can see the weather radar is on. I notice some people complaining that the weather radar isn't working very well, so let's hope for an update soon. Just up on the McLaren F1. GTR BMW. There it is. Just take these corners nicely. I'm hoping to run 126s on my fastest laps, maybe a little bit less. I don't know if we'll actually get the fastest lap at all because I think some of the boys at the front, like, I don't know, Mr. Grady, tend to run extremely hard laps. At the front now is Mr. Solis, who's driving the Escudo. He will be a setting blistering laps right ahead of us. Oh, we've got an accident in this corner. Head to the... Oh, we got bunted there off the track. We might get a penalty for that. See if we can upset that SLK. No, he's past us. But we've left Mr. Bishop behind. Get a bit of nitrous in there to give us a catch up on Mr. Mendoza. What was I saying as we came down to that corner? I can't remember. Yes, Mr. Escudo, Mr. Solis. He's running some pumping and some fastest laps. And he's going to hold the fastest lap until we can get our butt in gear. But let's see where we go. 
Mr. Mendoza coming back at us. He's going to run out of fuel about lap five, so there's not really much to worry about. Uh, lap three. I do like this circuit. This circuit was the site of my very first um, GT6 win, GT Sport. I won here in my very first outing back in GT6. And I honestly haven't raced here that much more myself. When GT6 went through its period of disconnects, I probably disconnected here six or seven times, and I've not really raced online here much more since that disconnect series. Uh, for those of you that saw it as we did the entrance, I'm a BS driver, BS not the but for um, B grade with an S safety rating, just for clarification. So Mr. Mendoza here is proving to be a bit of trouble. And as you can see, we're 17.7 seconds, 18 seconds behind the leader. We need to start making an impression. We need to start getting past this fella. He's only going to hold us back and he's going to do exactly the same. Push us out wide. So let's see what we can do with him. Rain on the radar. There it is. It's coming in, but it looks like it's heading to the north. We say northeast if the radar is aiming north, so it's going to miss the track. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Nitrous was used about half the tank. We've got about, a, we've got to leave a little bit of a squirt for the end, hopefully, he says. As you'll notice now, Mr. Grady's overtaken Mr. Solis, and we're 21 seconds almost down. So, Mr. Mendoza here is doing his best to cause us problem. That's two laps he's been in front of us. Well, it's two, not almost two, two complete laps, but you know what I mean. And we're doing around the outside here. We're going to try and push him on the apex, upset him. He's going to push us. Oh, ah, he's... <sighs> Let's just take a breath, reconsider what we're doing. We tried to close the door on him there, and that didn't really work, so... This is the problem, we're trying to use the nitrous to, to give us that extra juice to catch him up and we're wasting it in this, in this game here. So let's get past him now and try and take the tight side into this corner, there we go, we've overtook him now, we're going to hang it out wide, is he going to really dive bomb us and come back, no he's given up, he's always short of fuel, he's got to stay on his pit strategy for lap 5, he's pitting the end of this lap I would suggest, and if he doesn't he'll be out of fuel. And I know that because I've run that car a number of times around here. I've probably done it ten times trying to beat it with something different. I'm not a great believer of using the same car multiple times. But on this occasion, this is a pretty reliable car. Rain seems to be missing us. We're just skirting to the north of the track and it's pretty groomy. I'd say tyre temperature's down, which is great for your tyre longevity. Because you can see it, we've hardly taken a scrub off the top of the tyres. And that's our fastest lap to date. We've been being held up by Mendoza in the CLK. And we're now catching Mr. Gallo up front. Goes we're closing on half race distance. Which it's not looking too positive, folks. 23 seconds down and pulling away. Mr. Gallo in front and Mr. Cockerbun. We can see him up there. I'm blowing the nitrous now. I'm giving us everything we can. There's a 126.7. But you can see Mr. Grady's fastest lap there at 1.23.7. We missed the apex there. Unfortunately, back end steps out. We're going to have to run without the nitrous now. It's going to be desperate stakes if we use any nitrous. But at seventh place at half distance, I'm not feeling confident. But as you know, we've got a video. So something interesting happens. And I've kind of let you in on that. But I stand here across myself and say, um, there by the grace of God, etc. We're still alive. And with that, we're still in the race, so as we push down the corner here, we're not making any impression on Mr. Gallo. He's 1.8 ahead. We closed in him on the corner. Let's see where he goes really on the grass there. He's worn a dry line. But 25 seconds now behind the leader. We've got to do some stuff here. This ain't looking positive. We're on lap six, coming to the end of lap six. There's got to be some pit stops starting. So Mr. Solis might take to the pit soon. Let's see what happens. I haven't really talked our way through the latter end of the lap here, but as we take this, we're looking for the breaking point just before the 50. We're going to cut down to third gear, take as much kerb as we can muster. See that brown line? Use the outside kerb down a second just to gather the car in. 
there we go, we're with Mr. Gallo now, we're running wide, keep up the speed. Are we going to use nitrous? No, we're just going to run in this slipstream. We don't need to worry about fuel. Fuel is one thing we've got lots of. We whipped past him on the old uh, braking zone and we're up behind Mr. Cookerbun already. So let's look at the comparison between the AI car and our car. And he is actually pulling away. We've made no suspension changes, no aero changes. This is default car. The only things I've changed are the additional weight and the power restriction settings and have given it nitrous. And I gave him a little nudge there just to let him know we're here, which won't help our cause. We've taken a second out of the leader now. All good, lap seven. No rain on the radar, what's all, what or whatever. This is gonna be a dry race all the way to the end. Are we gonna go around the outside? I don't think we'll get that, because he'll get grip. There he goes, he's gonna keep us wide though, he's gonna keep us honest, and we're gonna go into this next corner in third gear. And we've actually just overrun that corner at all. We should never have changed up. We should have changed down a second. Let that be a lesson to you. It's a third gear down a second. Don't change up to fourth on that top left-hand sweeper. So here we come then, lap seven. Are we going to get some pitters now? Are people stopping for fuel? Mr. Solis has run a really, really long stint. He's into the pits. There he goes, on 7%. So... As you can see there, he is going to need to take on a whack of fuel to get them last three laps in, eight, nine and ten. We're going through the line and we are in fifth place, which is still a massive ask in two laps. Here we go, get alongside Cookerbun, push him round on the corner. We've just been pushed over the line, but I think we've kept ourselves in. Maybe no penalty, maybe not. What happens? Let's wait for it. No penalty, it seems. So off we go. Fifth place, got to get him back. So on to the left braking just before the 100 down a second to this corner he's let it drift we're going to try and push him but we miss him bit of nitrous to try and keep with him but that messes with the gear change here we go we got the power down and we've got to save that nitrous for the last lap let's go let's go on the on the curb braking on the 100 we might have shot it no we haven't we're good we're 1.8 seconds now, two seconds behind Mr. Miyazano. He's next on the focus. Don't look behind, keep looking forwards, focus where you need to be. Just imagine us gathering pace, pulling up to the back of Mr. Miyazano. We're shooting past him onto the start finish straight. That's where we need to be at. Around these sweepers, third gear, keep it. Use all the curb where you can. Through the timing zone, the penalty line, that's going to come into play fairly soon. Breaking just on the 50, don't overshoot it. Down a third, back on the gas. Don't stray too far to the left. Through this apex in second gear, back on the gas. And this is where we've got to chase him down. So lap eight into lap nine, there's two to go. Let's see where we can be. Lap four, it still seems like a desperate mission. Can't imagine us getting past any of these guys before we finish. The only thing we can rely on is unplanned fuel stops, Mr. Munda. Mr. Mendoza goes in now with 4% of fuel. He ran that car long. Wow, he was trying to use a low fuel weight to increase his lap time, obviously. So braking on the 100 just before. Use all the curb. Second gear through the apex. We dropped it down to first to try and control the car. We're still in fourth, 22 seconds back. This doesn't look hopeful, folks. Oh dear. We've got 25% of fuel left, so we've got loads of juice because we've got 1.5 laps to go, so we're no drama being anywhere near on the fuel usage, even with that squirt of nitrous to go, and Mr. Miyazano is just pulling away. This looks like a lost cause. Let's see what happens now. We've only got one lap to go. How bad could this be, he says. We're a second down at this point of the lap, and the only way I can think, oh, Mr. Grady's gone to the pits on mediums. He's made mediums last this long and he's got 6% of fuel. So from this point, can we get past him? Can we get all the way to the end of the pit line? We've missed a breaking point. We're going to pick up a penalty. Mr. Hazel's gone to the mist. Mr. Miyazano is the only one we've got to beat. He's there and he's away and I've got a penalty. Oh, it just gets worse. But what can you do? So that was a 127. We've run 127 consistent laps for the last four. We've got to make this a good one. Mr. Grady's popped out. What happened to Mr. Miyazano? Where did he go? He went to the pits. I missed that. Holy moly. So we were in first place. Oh, dear. Half a second penalty, though, and Mr. Grady's just in front. Oh, hold your own. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 my. 
uh, just cross me. I, uh, that's not like me, is it? Oh, just taking first place out like that. Oh, but we've still got a problem here, folks. It's not over. He's three seconds back, but we've got a half second penalty, and he's going to be charging because he is going to be P1553D, isn't he now? Oh, my Lord. 3.6 seconds back, half a second penalty. Here go. We do not need this back marker to get in our way. There's rain on the weather radar, but it's coming nowhere near us, so let's see where we go. Into this corner. We've done it a number of times. Down a second. He's now three seconds dead behind us. How much do we lose with this penalty? I've kept that nitrous, so I'm just going to drop it down and punch the nitrous button to get back up to me. 2.8 seconds. Pray for no mistakes. I've blown this corner again. Oh, my, oh. And the back marker gets out of the way, runs the pits through the last corner in second gear. Any nitrous left, let's use it. No, we don't. We're just going to run to the line. 3.2 seconds clear, and we take first place. Forgive me. That's not my usual style. I don't like to clear the AI. But that one was desperate, and it showed. But with that, folks, that is the conclusion of the race. Thank you very much for joining us. There it is, and that's how you do it. Massive thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you can put those things to use and get that level beaten. We'll see you on the next one, folks. Take care. All the best.